Welcome back everyone, I'm Zell, and today we're going to put these three knives up against each other. Yeah, a little weird, right? But we've got a pillar, a goblin, and an imp. CRKT and two best techs. And let's get into it. So why would we even do this? Well, whenever the pillar came out, or pilar, however it's pronounced, this was a knife that spanned everybody. Didn't matter if people were into high-end knives or budget knives or whatever, they got one. The people that were into higher-end knives immediately went to modifying them. Staza23 sent me a really nice carbon fiber scale for this guy. He's got my Carta on his. So there's $50 or $75 worth of scale on this uh, $25 right now knife. On That's the live Blade HQ price as I'm recording this. <clears throat> And people were willing and begging for CRKT to bring out a knife with better steel in it. Bring out a knife that was lighter, made out of titanium. And CRKT did not listen and did not listen. And, you know, maybe it was a corporate thing where they couldn't get it done. But they wouldn't even talk about it. They just ignore the posts. They ignore the comments. And, you know, and I've talked to Mr. Vones about it a long time ago. And he had no control over it, because if he had control over it at all, it would have happened, because this is such a popular design. Well, Best Tech saw that, and Best Tech had a handle design that's not anything like our pillar, but the blade designs they put in them are very similar to the pillar. In fact, the imp blade um, doesn't have a blade hole in it, but we've got very similar swedging. We've got a, it's not the same size, but they are both uh, forward finger choil canted knives, and they've got some jimping on them that the pillar doesn't have. And they're in S35VN titanium, and this one's in carbon fiber, lock bar inserts, all the stuff you expect in a titanium frame lock flipper. And they have flipper tabs. That's something that the pillar doesn't have, not that it needs it, but it doesn't have it. And they brought these guys out, and I happen to know that the first run of these things sold completely out immediately upon release. So huge hits for Best Tech as well. Did they take some learning here from Jasper Vones and CRKT? Well, maybe. But, you know, they kind of went their own road with it, so they didn't copy. They didn't, they didn't make a knife exactly like it. But they did bring us small knives with all of those things that we wanted out of the pillar. And all those things that CRKT would not bring to us. So let's kind of dive in here. What do we get and what makes these knives so special? Well, one, they're small. they got heavy-duty little blades. Whether you're looking at the imp, the pillar... Or the Goblin. You know, the Imp has the smallest blade of all here, but it's still a very useful blade. However, this is one Best Tech sent me. I went and purchased the Goblin. Why? Because I wanted that other half inch of blade, and it's just, it fills the handle a little better in the knife. And it is just a great knife. I also got it in all titanium so that I could anodize it at some point. And the people still go nuts about all three of these knives. And one of the reasons we're doing this is this knife here, I just saw on Instagram that Blade HQ and CRKT are bringing this knife with a G10 Showside scale. And if they bring it with a G10 Showside scale, that's going to lighten the knife up significantly. Stock, it is 4.2 ounces with stainless on both sides. We'll weigh this one here in just a minute. They also have the knife with a dark acid stone wash blade, which a lot of people like. Now, you can't see the backside of the knife, so we don't know if they went to titanium. We don't know if we've got lock bar inserts and upgraded pocket clip. We don't know any of those things, nor do we know if they upgraded the blade steel. So, a lot of questions. A lot of questions and a lot of questions that they don't seem to want to answer. So, let's get... We know that the stock form, this knife weighs 4.2 ounces or so. What does it weigh with the carbon fiber scale? This is going to give you a ballpark figure as to what the knives with the G10 scale are going to weigh. 
and come up 2.94 ounces. And I know, there we go. We see it a little better there. 2.94 ounces. That is right in the ballpark for a secondary carry knife. But we have the best techs over here too. So let's get a look at them. Go all titanium with the big blade and we're at 2.72 ounces. Go car partial carbon fiber with a smaller blade and we're at basically two and a half ounces. So two and a half to three ounces with... Uh, these two being a little bit lighter. Very interesting. It really depends on what Blade HQ comes with. If they come with just a scale change and we're still 8CR13 MOV uh, and we're still stainless on the backside, these are still the better knives. And these are still, if you're wanting a high quality knife to carry every day, these are still the ones to get. Not to say that this is a bad quality knife, but many of us want something a little better than 8CR13 MOV, and many of us would uh, like to have something that's made out of some titanium and some other things, you know. So if all they do is change the scales, these are still the winners. However, they have been very quiet on blade steel. They have been very quiet on any questions asked about the knives. Doesn't matter who it is, Blade HQ, Mr. Vones, uh, nobody wants to answer a question about the blade steel or anything else about the knives. So do they have a big surprise in store for us? I don't know. I'll do a little bit of theory crafting for you here. Let's say that they leave it stainless and they upgrade to a 14 or a 12C27 or 14C28, uh, one of the Sandvik steels. <clears throat> and they raise the price to say 35 or 40 bucks. Oh, that is a surefire winner. It will sell out. It'll be impossible to get a hold of. <coughs> and put the pillar on track for being knife of the year for this year, too. Now, if they bring it to us in titanium with, uh, say, S35VN and the G10 Showside Scale, even at 100 120 bucks, still, it's a huge winner. It's going to sell out. And it's going to be a major player in running for Knife of the Year so he can take it two years in a row. And here's my outlook on it. Since I own all three currently, if it came out with just a steel upgrade to, say, one of the Sandvik steels, would I buy another pillar? No, I would not. If it come up in a full titanium with... G10 show side scales and some kind of premium steel at around a hundred bucks. Uh, wow, then you're pressing it hard, and I would probably have to be finding ways to talk myself out of buying one, and I'd probably end up with one at some point because at that point, it would have, whether I needed it or not, it would have be the pillar that I wanted the pillar to be when it first came out. And it would be hard to not pick one up. So I guess for me, any of that mid-grade stuff would be kind of pointless. But if they go full bore and bring it in line with the quality here, I would probably end up with one. If they don't, these two best techs fill the void just fine for me. And they've got a flipper tab, which is kind of nice and kind of fun. It makes them very fidgety. So... You know, I, did, I guess I didn't come up with a winner, did I? Nope, I didn't. Why? Because these two are superbly built production knives that fill that small, the little big knife void in such a wonderful way for those people that are willing to spend 100 to 150 bucks on a little big knife. Then the pillar in its original form with the 8CR13 MOV and the full stainless, fills that same void for people that only want to spend up to around $30, $35. And all of it is a beautiful thing. And I would like to see the pillar fill all those spots up to those guys wanting a premium blade. Will we see it? We'll find out this Friday at Blade HQ. I believe it's at 10 a.m. And guys, this isn't a commercial for Blade HQ. I just happened to see their Instagram post 
and it brought all this to mind. And you guys have a wonderful day. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you next time.